Can we all please give it up for Piplu Ar Khan? So, I'm a name Piplu. I'm a big cup on Banai. I got to act there. I got to act there. I got to act there. I was observing all the sessions. And I think, I'm going to act there. Right? Shakal Thege, mostly. How many sessions you already attended? Four. So I think it's already like uh, over the top. I'm on a fifth session. I'm going to cook you to show our scope up at the night. Couldn't you get? I think you're right. Acha, take it. So I'm sure you're up at the show of fatigue to last year. I'll take very short time, basically. I mean, any most of a session is like really, really focusing on your career development, guiding principle, a lot of things. So I'm going to ask you to tell the best person now. I'm actually a street tailor. I'll try to tell something from my experience. So on and off, I have been working for the last 20 years. As in, I'm going to do intermediate school. I'm going to do something like that. To some extent, very professionally, what I'm doing right now, I've been doing that for the last 10 years, 10, 11 years. So lately, excuse me. Hello. Hello. Okay, so lately I'm actually, I mean, I'm going through a lot of crisis as a person, like career on a pressure, insecurity, so a lot of things happening uh, with me also. I'm almost hitting 40, so mid age and the career also. I'm just, I'm doing a lot of things. I'm doing work in Bangladesh. I'm doing a lot of work in India. So apparently people called me here because they thought I'm a very successful from their perspective. But I think success is very, honestly, is very overrated. Success as a word is very overrated and it's a lot of pressure. Success, efficiency, career, objective, focus. These are words we keep listening every day, right? Like studying from college day, basha, bondhu bandhav, shabai amadik, like chase, chase, chase. So I have been chasing a lot last 20 years. Lately, I'm going to say that a lot of chasing might not help fool. Like we grew up in the 80s. The kind of value system, the kind of education we grew up is very different than what you are going through right now. So same principles, same parameters, same, like, you know, same kind of uh, principles might not be applicable for you. So I'm going to ask you what you want to hear about this. What you want to hear about this might be kind of, uh, kind of uh, rewinding our, like, you know, some old memories, things like that. So I'm a big time all 60s and 70s music fan. Like, you know, 60s and 70s, I personally believe a lot of best things happen in our life. It can be literature, it can be movie, it can be music. So eventually, up in the 60s, 70s, whatever referencing we do, we like, you know, keep talking about Beatles. So one of Beatles is very much one of my all time favorite, which is George Harrison. So George Harrison in 1997, he made a, uh, like, you know, last appearance on TV, which is on VH1 in USA for an interview, which is like quite 40 minutes long. But I cut like almost four minutes one clip. I want you to listen to that before I'm coming. What are the crises I'm actually facing? The same crisis probably they had earlier in 50s and 60s. What I'm trying to say, all of our problems is actually quite similar, but it's keep coming with very different texture and different colors. You will have the same problem probably down 10 years. I'm talking on that side rather talking on the brighter side of life. So it's quite slightly depressing, but I mean, I don't want to talk about it. So Rakhar, play that clip. Try to put the sound high. What are we doing on this planet? I think through the little experience that we've had, we've grown so many years within a short period of time. Okay. Uh, platform, platform, two minutes, 30 seconds. Uh, what are we doing on this planet? Um, I think through the Beatle experience that we... It may sound like a lofty thing to say on VH1, but basically, you know, what are we doing on this planet? I'm, I think through the Beatle experience, 
that we'd had. We'd grown so many years within a short period of time. I'd experienced so many things and met so many people, but I realized there was nothing actually that was giving me a buzz anymore. I, I, was, I wanted something better. I, re I remember thinking, I'd love to meet somebody who will really impress me. I don't mean because somebody like, you know, Burt Lancaster, because he was in a movie. Right. I mean, I met Burt Lancaster, and he impressed me on that level. But I meant somebody who could really impress me. And that's when I met Ravi, which was funny, because he's this little fella <laughs> with an obscure instrument from our point of view. And yet, it led me into such depths. And um, I think that was, that's the most important thing. It still is for me. You know, I get confused when I look around at the world and I see everybody's running around. And, you know, as Bob Dylan said, he not busy being born is busy dying. And yet nobody's trying to figure out what's the cause of death and what happens when you die. I mean, that to me is the only thing really that's of any importance. The rest is all secondary. Do you think pop musicians are afraid to <clears throat> deal with subjects that are so big or it just doesn't occur to them or do people think, oh, it's not commercial enough, who wants to talk about life itself? I don't know what anybody else thinks and, um, you know, as the years have gone by, I seem to have found myself more and more out on a limb as far as, you know, that kind of thing goes. I mean, even close friends of mine, you know, they maybe don't want to talk about it because they don't understand it. but. I believed in the thing that I read years ago, which I think was in the Bible. It said, knock and the door will be opened. And it's true. If you want to know anything in this life, you just have to knock on the door, whether that be some physically on somebody else's door and ask them a question, or, which I was lucky to find, is the meditation. Is You know, it's all within. Because if you think about it, there isn't anything... I mean, in creation, the whole of creation that <clears throat> is perfect. You know, there is nothing that goes wrong with nature. Only what man does, then it goes wrong. But we are made of that thing. The very essence of our being, of every atom in our body, is made from this perfect knowledge, this perfect consciousness. But superimposed on that is through, if I can use the word, the tidal wave of bull that goes through the world. It's cable, you can say that. Yeah, so there's this, we're being... So, I don't know how many words you uh, get it clear. So what I'm trying to say, basically, what uh, George Harrison was trying to say, like, you know, why everybody's chasing. I think it's the same thing. Jokhan, just, just imagine, the Beatle was, uh, was at their peak. Why they actually broke. Because all the formations of self-consciousness started evolving, right? They were at their peak, like everybody was like judging them like Jesus. But what happened, John Lennon, George Harrison, they were started evolving as an individual, unique identity, and that were creating a lot of conflict among them. So I'm saying in our time, just imagine the amount of conflict happening around this time in the world. Let's say migration happening around Syrian conflict, Gulf of Judo, a lot of things. But most of time, that kind of propaganda we hear, we call it conflict, right? conflict If you sum up all the conflict together, it's actually quite bigger than Second World War. What I'm trying to say, we are, we are as an individual, I'm a filmmaker, I'm a marketing agent, I'm a teaching agent. All of us trying to do so many things, but we are not creating any impact anymore. We are not getting any John Lennon second time. We are not getting another Dalai Lama. We are not getting another Ayub Bachchu. So the individual shine, individuality, is not coming across big time in our time because of things are completely saturated. The knowledge and everything, dreams, absolutely saturated. When I am a director, I am an actor. Can you feel it? Actor can you feel it before you deliver this? Actor can you feel it? Most of the time, actor can yes, yes, I can feel it. So I said, listen, feel it. Close your eyes. Then say the dialogue. Actor can feel it. Feel it. Feel it. Dialogue can feel it. And then still you are not happy. What's the reason? Because of in most of the time, we don't know which feeling is actually the right feeling. 
because of there are so much of noise there are so much of buzz you exactly don't know what you want so amra jokhon onek overrated way te boli dream focus like an objectivity lot of time we don't know whether the dream i am actually opted for is it a right dream or wrong dream lot of time in my experience what i saw from myself and also because of i work with lot of youth like you know lot of young energy they keep coming to my office they work as a professionally lot of time we all of us actually confused with double triple identity having so many dreams but don't know exactly what dreams actually i am looking for so dreams has become very generic i'm saying because of i see the damage and harm for something which i am not prepared for something which i am not ready but i am chasing it because of everybody is chasing it i am saying all of us let's say from the same business school all of us scored certain amount of cgpa will that give us the same amount of pace and achievements in life it's not possible how and why we are actually chasing the same dream so most of time i meet young people they want by, by the time they want to meet me for a job or for something to just open up 99% case scenario is actually they already formatted they already know what they want so imagine all of us you meeting here knowing the fact that what i want exactly i know to can i amashonge meet kara why we are discussing we are wasting time right kind of see in most cases lot of us actually we don't want to deal with our fear when i say you already formatted that means you actually locked everything all sides you only have one opening which is i want to be successful whatever the cost but i don't want to explore what are the other things i have been gifted by nature by my surroundings by my unique well being individuality which can give me a very different shine so i am saying when i choose like you know my profession i i grew up in a 80s uh, in a lower kind of low lower income group like you know my father was in bank so you fairly can consider my family not even middle class i would say lower middle class but having a dream to be a film maker in all respect it was completely barred right it was never been projected or encouraged in a right direction saying oh this is not safe because you can go to bank you can go to bcs you can go to lot of things and all but when i realize when you have the opportunity when knowledge has become very democratic you have now knowledge democratic at least you can search on something you can get the information you have all possible network like you know there is the like the loads of informations keep coming and all but you still have the same fears not choosing the right things for you not choosing the diverse things nature has given to you so what i personally feel as a human being amar ji school system hai in because of in you see in early 19th century what we uh, choose to uh, learn basically shobai ki school dress pore jeta hobe right school dress pore jeta hobe because of, and on time e jeta hobe ghonta pore dhukte hobe because of just imagine 18th century shesher dike all the major innovation is happened is to encourage greater kind of production like you know the production unit was so small but in 19th century beginning it was like has become very vast so you need lot of people for like you know mass reproduction so that amader jo need the need was multiplied because of the projections of the export and the like you know trade and all so we actually last 150 years all of us the son of nature trained as a very positive way the kind of like you know opted for kind of slavery so I mean, I can only show you because of I I need to meet a lot of corporates and a lot of clients. Basically, when I have a client meeting, I see that some actor dress for it. Ask some lal pochcha. I'm like, what is the reason you are wearing red? Or I will say, ask it. I'm a see your vision. See your vision. Week till there are like seven vision. So we'll have like seven different colors in seven different day. Basically, it's the same actually. We are trying to influence people with a very centered one directional dream, where nobody is actually thinking. Everybody is negotiating. everybody is trying to fix so all of us 80 80% of us actually we don't do anything but try to prepare ourselves in best possible way go to best school best possible mentor to prepare ourselves to be a very legitimate successful negotiator how many of us actually given a situations where we can think and innovate 
আমি আপনাকে বলি গত মাসে আই ওয়াজ ইন সিচুয়েশন আই স্পেন্ড থ্রি ডেজ উইথ সার ফজলে হাসান আবেদ সো আই ওয়াজ স্পেন্ডিং থ্রি ডেজ অলমোস্ট উইথ হিম অ্যান্ড হি ওয়াজ লিসেনিং হিম দ্য কাইন্ড অফ লাইক ইউ নো দ্য কাইন্ড অফ পার্সন হি ইজ লাইক ইউ নো ওয়ের হি কেম ফ্রম সো হি গ্রু আপ ইন লাইক ইউ নো ইন ইংল্যান্ড অলমোস্ট লাইক ইউ নো হি লেফট কান্ট্রি অ্যাট দ্য এজ অফ সেভেন্টিন হি গ্রু আপ ইন ইউরোপ ইন ডিফারেন্ট কান্ট ডিফারেন্ট প্লেসেস হি হ্যাড মানি লাইক ইউ নো হিজ ফ্যামিলি হিজ ফ্রম ভেরি রিচ ফ্যামিলি অ্যান্ড অল but by the time he chose to serve bangladesh from a very different perspective right after independence to serve the poor people he decided certain things in his life before he started back or on the verge of starting back and last 44 years he practiced those principles in life one principle he don't possess any wealth just imagine a person who has got 120 million people in the payroll 120000 people in the payroll and they are operating in 20 countries he actually doesn't have physically other than a lot of book it's not that he cannot accumulate that asset it's the fact that he took the decision because of i am serving poor i should not have any asset basically now if i meet most of people in in this tri state which is in gulshan barani and baridara in all this corporate office who has been trying like you know day and night to make themselves like really skillful as a kind of one fresh graduate their dream is very limited their dream is to get a job to get a decent job decent salary promotion one basic car toyota basic old car all of most of our car old car right the condition vehicle none of car is like new and then go for like you know twice in a year to go for like foreign tours and then buy a flight which is on emi for last 30 years you are completely on bank so in la- next 30 years what do you do actually you keep changing your job you do fancy things but at the end of the day you pay money to bank right this is a kind of like you know lifestyle we choose aspire to choose i'm saying there's nothing wrong like you know to get a car to get a house and all but considering you are in a delta which is so like you know so vulnerable to climate change it has got 160 million people you cannot ensure even half of the population by that standard of a one car one house so i'm saying fundamentally if we started if we started placing all of our dreams like that ei room e shobai jodi kore ekta flat ekta bari kinte shuru kori amra we'll we'll never get that because of places by then it's finished you have money you have everything so what i'm trying to say our all the energy and the income physical and the philosophical earnings of life we are spending on a wrong reason rather just imagine in our in earlier generation people like fazl hasan abid or be it dr yunus be it uh, like a be it uh, chayanot sanjida khatun the kind of impact they made in our life compared to that actually compared to that actually we actually couldn't make any kind of impact so in my life so what i'm trying i what uh, always i try to say like you know my colleagues and whoever comes across you have like you know three there are like life cycle in the life cycles of yours there is a three phase if you ask me when i started at 18 19 years i wanted to be something i was like really confused and that confusion goes on and on for 5 6 years and by all means by my family and the fa- friends and all there were at point like you know they were telling okay fine you're like probably confused you don't know exactly what you want but what i realized later because of my like you know like you know my kind of persuasions for knowledge and the kind of mentor i met i realized that is a very given kind of phase everybody has to go through that so if you have at that confusion stage the later stage is your formation stage the formation where you actually go through all the experiments and you know what i am and what are the things actually meant for me and then your productive years actually see if you ask me where where i am right now i am now 39 i just finished my formation days by but my even my by my formation days i actually started making impact as in like in, in the physically i am doing work i am an entrepreneur i'm making money i'm actually give uh, creating opportunity for people to have job and all but i don't know exactly my impact when it will come actually if you can remember let's say gida mopasa he actually never wrote anything till 40 
he was actually there in like in you know, paris in all possible in literary kind of uh, uh, kind of in all literary center he was around all the best writers and all but he no, never wrote a single word till he is 40 but he started writing at 40 he finished at 50 he died at 50 he made all the possible impact so i'm saying compared to him and him there might be the completely very different sets of dna of your formations and performances might come through but if you started going through a very generic way of like you know dealing with life it might be very difficult for you to achieve that basically so what i'm trying to say coming from let's like, say george harrison there's no hurry actually so even by standard our average uh, life life span ka to akhan i think 65 to 70 how old you are generally you are 28 30 so let's say average uh, age group ekhane jodi am 25 dhori you have 40 more years to live right in next 40 years there are so many things you have to do which is starting from family earning money make impact do little good things whatever so it's a it's a huge and long life span basically how you deal with that out of 40 years out of that 40 years you cannot be productive in 40 years that's my point you probably will be for productive in 15 years right work for that magical 15 years not for entire 40 years as an average you can be very magical for 15 years but you can be very average if you can just go like this flat for next 40 years so that formation days is very important secondly whatever you choose actually see now the problem is basically if you look at like you know our prime time tv what they show our prime time means like 9 to 11 9 to let's say 12 o'clock it's all about talk show right i can remember in my childhood we were we were like you know protesting in the street humay naam mein ek natak chilo is called kotha keu nahi so in the final episode the next morning in entire country the first lead news about somebody hanged and the before the day entire country went for a strike to make a pressure on the writer saying you cannot kill that character the power of storytelling now when we say like no bangladesh tv is not working or whatever try to understand because of we are not putting the best of people behind the best of people not doing the best of work basically so we are not getting any impact so on the other day i was watching a japanese movie so it's a very good japanese movie just recently came and that director he's so famous his name is uh, hirokazu korea that is a very famous director right now can you remember japan is a, like one of top country like you know economically and fashion and everything prime time tv japan they always show family drama still these days the the, the most popular one is running for last 10 years directed by this guy one tv drama running for last 10 years in prime time japan and now just imagine we are a third world country or developed country we are trying to chase that kind of dream to be a japan to be a china to be an usa to some extent whatever our dreams are our dreams are completely diluted there is no like an you know, organic dream of ours she will shop dhar kara khanikta chinese khanikta indian khanikta bangladesh in uh, like you know japanese so what is our dream what would be our dreams what would be your dreams especially for youth der jonno ki dhoroner dream howa uchit so amra 80s e jokhon amader chilo we were like concentrated on like one small delta small chotto ekta island prottekta jinish ekta chilo amader jeno we had humayun ahmed we had afzal subarna we had everything so we had vision and we had kind of mentors now your generation is completely so saturated but it's, it's very difficult for you to get inspiration so what i'm trying to say in the worldwide is a very dark time for like you know ideals beauty aesthetics this is not the time for aesthetics and beauty and all basically so if you look at dhaka dhaka is partly divided by like you know probably six probably big uh, companies right and you see out of six companies four of them completely illegitimate their goons they made the most of damage like you know they completely ruined the ecosystem they ruined the water body they ruined the things and all and probably all of us serving them right but of course we cannot evolve them tomorrow like you know tomorrow in the street and go and protest but can we can we start at creating a consciousness around us so if you look at beatles if you look at amader jara band jara korto amader jokhon band korto ayub bachura jokhon korto er age generation chilo amader azam khan they were saying oh era shob gulo shob bokhe jawa chhele right 
but they had conviction for their work so they used to do so good on their own work ebong collectively ora jokhon eta bishwash korto by the end of 90 they came as a big force so nobody was like then ready to tell them anything because they are so forceful collectively so i'm saying when i say consciousness a consciousness being an individuals what do you want to do and what you cannot do in your life whatever your decision that's your decisions nobody should influence in that tumi jodi kalke mone kore je no i'll not serve anybody who actually don't serve my country i will not serve anybody who will not serve my country's ecosystem i will not serve anybody who actually go and grab my lands that is your own individual decision tumar mone hobe ki i will not probably change anything but just imagine you and me together we make a dot we connect a dot lot of dots that is what exactly happened in 50s 60s and 70s all the idealist jara amader liberation er jonno fought koreche amader jemon tv center holo mustafa monwar went to nhk to train himself to run the tv now just imagine somebody trained artist trained by nhk running the tv compared to somebody just picked up from a street and running the tv result will be same result will be like something like this basically so yeah i think our time is almost over right yeah okay so this is what i felt basically so ebar ami jodi tomake ashar kotha ta boli we work for we i'm a, i run this company called uh, apple box films i also has another this venture called shift and we work with lot lot many youngsters like deliberately wherever there is a people like amader ekhane 4 5 bochor hoye jay we push them to just go because we don't need you basically we push young people we have diverse people like you know we have engineer we have ex doctor we have somebody don't want to study we have somebody came from army lot of diverse people jara different kore career ta ke plan korte chay we give them kind of opportunity like you know so it's a kind of ecosystem we try to give where you can actually nurture and indulge with your own specific dream not like given dream a lot of time i mean youngster dikhe jokhon meet kori i think like you know they always carry someone else's dream not their own dream i think it's costly having a dream at this stage is very costly but if you don't dream nothing will change i am saying enter two days of youth fest and all these efforts is fine but whoever is coming just imagine they have their own dream you just cannot have my dream and share it and take it somewhere right you have to have your own dream what's that actually that's more important than anything so i'm i'm saying having a life where you have the aesthetics the beauty of it now just imagine ami odin dekhchilam like amar bashar purano album e je amar bond amar bond amar onek boro so they took a pictures in 70s let's say pashe bashar ashbashe kotha studio te giye chobi tola ami dekhlam je studio te je chobi ta je jotno niye tola hoyse ekhon and just imagine nowadays we taking selfie like you know like in a numerous selfie throughout the day how many of our one selfie is actually worth to take a print as in you have so many pictures you have probably 100 pictures by now but has any of them has got the proper framing let's say kotha kotha have something you want to take a print and basha bachana eta ami rakhbo because we going by impulse basically we are part of trends but just trying to see like na ami follow korchi justin bieber ke ami follow korchi donald trump ke but i am following his trend but amake age jish korte hobe whether i am required to have that many trends amake follow korar dorkar ache ki number 1 number 2 am i unique if i am unique i cannot be part of everyone's dream right so if my choice is punjabi then probably i'll follow someone's gym khub bhalo punjabi banai tar design ta i should not follow someone's making like in you know, a shorts let's say so because of i'm then cluttering my like in you know, individual loads of information i think i mean just to make information but i'm not reading newspaper first page for last one year i'm not losing anything i don't read literally i don't read news by news in facebook e je kom news ashe onek news ashe i never clicked because if my point is very simple if i click i spend 3 minutes right it might give me some bizarre kind of experience first of all eta jodi baje likha hoy it might irritate me that irritation cause me something else why i should give my important and so precious time to someone else basically so what what are the decision you can take saying no might be very powerful at this point of time in our life because of the amount of information you actually every day you get is so tough i personally believe it might be very racist like you know if we actually shut down our tv after 7 o'clock 
all TV channels, we might not, we might be a very good, like, you know, we might be a little more happy. I'm saying, I don't see any reason why we have 24-7 TV, what we are promoting. As in, significant amount of our content and the energy is not producing any good. It can be TV, it can be newspaper, it can be our activities. It can be sometimes a job. There are certain, like, you know, entrepreneur, there are certain entrepreneurships actually creating a lot many complications for us. Uh, like, you know, 10 years back, it was the fashion. Like, you know, Dhaka, whoever is successful has got some money, can be a, like, CEO, can be someone like mid-level entrepreneur. They used to go and buy lands in Gajipur. So, it was a weekend destination, right? Okay, fine. Beshpati, where I'm tired and all, you go buy a car, you have weekend destinations. Now, the Gajipur is also over. So, last month, I was in Shirajgan shooting something. And I realized people started buying lands in Shirajgan also. Just imagine 20 years later what will happen if you don't have farming lands and all. So I'm saying our greed and our dream sometimes is so, so difficult and so harmful for other people who actually paying the price for us. Just imagine the amount of energy and the kind of like, you know, privilege we accumulate in Dhaka. We are not worth for that. So eventually, I mean, so we travel Bangladesh like, like crazy. I eventually realized Bangladesh is becoming a Dhaka. It's an like extended versions of Dhaka. Everybody wants to be Dhaka. Dhaka wants to acquire everything. Dhaka wants to have the best fish, best meat, organic food. So they are the center of accumulations, basically. And we, all of us, actually helping that accumulation just because of 100, 100, 100, on the contrary, our age generation in the 70s and 80s, just, just see their profile, what they did. Idealist Chilo. So, Dr. Inez Jiri, Gamin Bank, Chito University, the Boshe, Dim Nakoto, I'm an actor institution, Petamna. Fazla has an Abed Judi, Shele Chakri Nachato, Brak Hotuna. Sanjita Katan Judi, Drain Room Bush, Nabhapto, Amad Juno, China Totuna. China Nahole Pudibacho, Boyla Bushak, Tonustan Hotuna. But who is second Sanjita Katun? Where is second Dr. Inez? Where is second uh, Fazla Hassan Abed? So I'm, and also it's very alarming for us. It's very organically for a country, our, our put it standard kind of facts is very one directional. Let's say I don't have any problem with business school, but 67% of our higher education on business school. A country will not survive. We will not get Humayun Ahmed from business school for sure. We need liberal arts also basically. I'm saying we need a combination of thinking. So if you are a thinker, if you are a businessman, whoever you are, if you don't have a combination and sustainable approach in your territory, it's just one-sided mind might kill us completely, basically. Secondly, because of I'm from middle class, the fear, the fear of failure. I mean, just dictum fear is kind kind of bubbles. It's not never been there. If you have a project, there is a fear. You will not be able to do this. There is no other way you can be successful. It's actually completely fear, basically. It's a bubble. It's projected so much. So, we act in the bubbles that we have to concentrate on. Other fields are completely vacant. Nobody is coming there. If today's time, if somebody wants to be a writer, honestly, a writer can survive on a good term with some good money, with a decent lifestyle. I told you the intelligent high international market. So I'm just imagine everybody has got market in this period of time, which is advantage for you guys. Just imagine Atske Wasfia Nazrin, he's she's actually traveling around the world, right? So National Geography okay, promote coach, local companies are promote coach. So there are people to promote your dreams actually, basically. But it's that if you feel like it's only nine to five, only one job and Mashashe, Baton, Atinta Bonas is the only way to live a life. It's not the life we should have, basically. So yeah, that's it, basically. So quite depressing, our Kathavatra. I'm sure Shakal thinks uh, like brighter side will say that skill develop and all. I think, to, in my experience, I personally feel I personally use both of them. So, even worldwide, school phenomena has been put through the school. All these psychologists they are saying, don't give this to school boys. School boys should not dress that way. Dress that way, why? Or the individual identity ta are developed. So, Amarjun Monaja Amar dress on a comda, mota beshidam. All these things, kids are nowadays is completely evolved. They know exactly their potential. 
but they don't see things in from particularly that perspective so meaning kids are more in liberating space like you know and in liberating space kids can be more evolved basically but if i if you see in most of our corporates in the factories and all we are trying to like you know kind of like you know label a name and cage people in a very strange way basically so it's not very encouraging like you know so when we say passion thakta hai tumara all those passion will not come from the sky passion should be inbuilt in your systems in your educations in your family i cannot be passionate from tomorrow morning just because of amikta bhakti se sunsi just because of ki amake 1 lakh taka dicche passion is something is completely from my culture heritage and my learning and my persona so ami jodi mone kori last 20 years ami kichu pori nai ekta gano shuni nai kal ke shokale amar taste develop korbe na so that beauty and the beast now the time is completely driven by beast the beauty is completely gone from the aesthetics and all so if you look at any office office gulo dekhte sundor lage na lok jene kapur chupre thik nai but we had time amader baba ra kintu chakta kapuri porto but they had decency they had like humbleness politeness in their behavior but now people are getting like really crude and crushy, like very like you know very agitated alpote very focused because what do you do you only deal with facts and figures facts and figures there is no like you know space to think there's nothing there's no allocation for your own identity but if you look at the west actually amra jokhon boli digital and all this happening west take into is completely liberating west bolche je okay get freedom you don't need to come to work you can do it from home we can trust you like you know we are space and the regimental things is getting lesser and lesser amar kache always mon hoy ki amader desh amra ek ekta jayga eto accumulate kore rakhi eto boro boro office space jaygar eto dam আমাদের অফিসগুলো আর ছোট হয়ে যাওয়া উচিত অফিস না থাকা উচিত ডিফারেন্ট করে অফিস চিন্তা করা উচিত বেসিক্যালি বিকজ অফ আমি বলছি যে আমাদের নেটওয়ার্ক হয়ে যাচ্ছে ডিজিটাল হয়ে যাচ্ছে ইনফরমেশন হ্যাজ ইজ লাইক মোর রেডিলি অ্যাভেলেবেল সো হোয়াই উই ক্রিয়েটিং বিগ বিগ কর্পোরেশনস লাইক ইন উইথ অল দিস থাই গ্লাসেস অ্যান্ড অল সো আমি যে ধরনের জিনিসপত্র ফলো করি যে ধরনের লোকজনদেরকে দেখি চেষ্টা করি এবং দেখছি ওয়ার্ল্ড ওয়াইড যে ধরনের ট্রেন্ড হোয়াট উই আর ট্রাই উই আর ডুইং এক্সাক্টলি ইন বাংলাদেশ আমার কাছে মনে হচ্ছে আমরা একটা বিশ বছরের পুরনো ওয়ার্ল্ড মডেলকে এখানে লাইক নো কাইন্ড অফ অ্যাডপ্ট করার চেষ্টা করছি বাট ওয়ার্ল্ড প্রোগ্রেস টোয়েন্টি ইয়ার্স থার্টি ইয়ার্স অ্যাহেড অফ আস যেখানে আমাদের জন্য সুবিধা ছিল বিকজ অফ উই ডিড নট হ্যাভ দোজ ব্যাগেজ অফ আর্লিয়ার প্রবলেমস আমরা কিন্তু অনেক ইন্ডাস্ট্রি হেভি নেশন না আমাদের কিন্তু অনেক ম্যাজর প্রবলেম ছিল না যেটাতে আমাকে কমপ্লিটলি ওয়াইপড আউট করে নতুন একটা ইনফ্রাস্ট্রাকচার অ্যাপ্লাই করতে হবে উই কুড হ্যাভ মেক আ কমপ্লিটলি গ্রিন ইনফ্রাস্ট্রাকচার অ্যাপ্লাই বাট উই ডিন ডু দ্যাট উই আর ফলোইং কমপ্লিটলি লাইক ইনো যেটা এক্সপেরিড অ্যাট হয়ে শেষ হয়ে গেছে জাস্ট একটা সিস্টেমে নিয়ে আমরা এখানে বসানোর চেষ্টা করছি বা দ্য ওয়ার্ল্ড মুভিং সো ইন্টারেস্টিংলি অ্যান্ড হ্যাড দ্য গ্রিন টেকনোলজি অ্যান্ড অল আদার থিংস অল দিস কুড হ্যাভ বিন লাইক মোর নাইস অফ ফর বাংলাদেশ বিং আ ভেরি ভেরি লাইক ইন বাংলাদেশ লাইক ইন হেরিটে আমাদের হিস্ট্রিতে দেখা যায় ইটস এ প্লেস ফর থিঙ্কার্স বেসিক্যালি বিকজ অফ আমরা নদীর পাশের দেশ নদীর পাশের মানুষ is always makes sense there is a scientific reasons also water body makes you completely a very different kind of persona it makes you soft because of at ekta chotto desher moddhe ei poriman nodi pithibi kono jage nai basically we created lalon we had like you know all these basically ki uh, bolbo like very organic philosophy jeta within amader rooted basically so amra jodi byabsha kori ar chakri jai kori na keno if we don't take all this in considerations in, as in our lifestyle we will not go anywhere basically So yeah that's it yeah question any any time any question please any question first of all i would like to basically say hats off to you because uh, you just touched some of the uh, core points when I mean, you point, pinpointed that we, where basically we are supposed to be reaching but uh, you know what is dream what is the actual dream we are supposed to be running after that's what that's what the confusion comes yeah. now my question would be uh do you have any ways to uh 
to look at you know such dreams i mean i'm talking about the analysis yeah. uh, i'm having you know a variety of dreams yeah. now if it is my time to find out yes uh, this is going to benefit me or this is going to benefit me which one should be rejected and which one should be elected so if there is any specific ways uh, that you found out you know uh, worked for you something like that you can you'd be actually sharing that that's that's what my request and uh, right after that i would like to say uh, you talked about uh, the way actually you try to motivate us motivate us uh, you know talked about entrepreneurship i guess so uh, right now i'm not even done with my graduation so what i'm thinking right now i would be basically uh, motivating entrepreneurship i would be trying to uh, you know uh, build up kind of i mean first of all yes uh, it requires us to be first of all established right after that you you run after you know making people established or or they of doing something else run after i mean you, you try to create some some of the platforms where people would be coming and getting themselves established or uh, you know getting their fu- dreams fulfilled something like that uh that's what my dream is coming right now inside me uh my question is so far in bangladesh did anybody come to uh build up such kind of such kind of people i mean i'm talking about that uh, you were creating entrepreneurs in this country actually just by using yourself so i'm i'm trying to plan let's say i'm talking about uh, my own plan that is uh, apps established poor people society this is what i'm planning to do uh this is why i'm not trying to even think of having sponsors i know that it will cost me to uh, get success on it but uh, what my plan is like you know if i uh, help one person and if i can build up some of the you know feelings inside that person that person would be helping others so using his money so i'm i'm trying to uh, establish that guy and he would be basically you know trying his level best to establish others that's how there would be a very big network right so did anybody uh, try in our in our country as because you know so many people uh, so many educated person personality we had been able to see in our country uh, if you you know if you have got that sort of that sort of you know i mean knowledge in your in yourself i mean you can okay. you can share that I, and i'll try to uh, answer you what yeah. what did you do uh, yeah. you know for the uh, uh, i mean did you do anything like this that see basically uh, i am uh, i am working i am working on a very different kind of uh, like you know uh, different uh, my work for work space is completely with a very different subject matter so irrespective of that i will try to answer you uh, first of all i think uh, it is nothing to do with your like you know when you will be graduate or when you will be like you know uh, trained enough to start your dreams and all is is lot to do with your personal opinions like you know it's lot to do with your identifications of what you want to do in life and that might not come tomorrow i mean it might take lot of time i'm saying to be specific on your dreams i think it's a it's a kind of very per, it's a kind of physical and mental experience you know it's a kind of when we say uh, if you uh, read a story what's the subject, subtext so every human being has got a subtext a subconscious so in your subconscious whatever you thinking to change the world or to create an impact through poverty elevations or whatever to be an entrepreneur or to be a sportsman that's purely will come true by the time your subconscious will hit the consciousness as in if i want to be a filmmaker by my consciousness which is a good decisions but to meet there my subconscious needs to go along the way with consciousness to meet together meaning my knowledge and experience my vision and everything together should meet my physical existence so i am being people i am a filmmaker i want to be successful in so many ways let's say that is a decision probably i took much earlier but the realization came much later when 
the like you know when your wish and the means meet together and this is a completely a very kind of a, it's a it's a kind of metaphysics so you have to experience it so i don't know exactly what date and you know, when your right dream will hit a lot of time it happens you know somebody is like so successful in life after 15 years they realize that was the wrong dream and they do started doing things maybe later if you look at a lot of writers life earlier they used to be someone else they used to be a investment banker a lot of things and one fine morning why they quit why they quit a million dollar job knowing the fact that the dream has got a lot many risk that's how things started so i'm saying is very difficult to define at this stage especially you have you are so saturated your time informations and everything to define your real feeling the real dream is absolutely very difficult so you have to start it using your subconscious the way i let's say use my subconscious so let's say i'll not listen him i'll not i listen him which is my decisions because i feel like i'll learn better from him i'll not go to a particular university versus i'll go to that university why you took that decision because in your subconscious you feel like that university might cater me better right so it can be very personal interactions it can be a book it can be your decisions it can be your choosing friends it can be your lifestyle everything put together it creates your subconscious and when that subconscious meets your consciousness that creates things that's what i said like you know i had like lot many confusion stage i didn't know what i was doing but eventually i came to that point so it's a kind of a like you know trial and error process yeah please my question is my question is basically uh, i uh, hear people say like cheese your uh, passion but what i understand passion is basically a mental state it's a feeling so feeling can change so rather you know, should a person chase his passion or he should listen to his heart i think see basically also we need to understand the core learning and knowledge based around the world has changed drastically i think lot of times it happens in bangladesh the kind of materials we study and the reality of like you know that physical progressions of that particular matters is way too much i'm saying just imagine the fundamental science we are studying right now or fundamental medicines we are studying right now the world is ahead of like you know world is completely ahead 50 years now now just imagine you are upgrading your all the informations and well being with some wrong or probably backdated informations i am saying success passion by heart all these things is honestly for me is overrated i think education to some extent to some extent is overrated education i means degree degree is to some extent overrated i can tell you in last 10 years the most interesting and successful people i met around the world whatever amount i traveled i met amazing people they don't have so much conventional degree i'm saying i'm telling you one this one amazing guy you know this you saw this ad this is called paperboard like indian televisions paperboard is a is a drink it's called nostalgia drink that guy used to work for coca cola he was like one big guys in coca cola he realized he is selling coke in a country where they have their own drink which is like amader bashe shobai amader deshi oni drink thake na narikele pani mara kichu banay lot of drinks we have like an organic drink he from that day when he realized his productive days not left so many day years after being a very successful corporate he started researching on indian origin drink which is starting from solkari theke shuru kore lebu pani blah 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 he took all those sample to uk did a research how to package them for 5 years not only that he traveled across india to those people those village women to learn the process to talk to them make a story of each out of each drink and he made a ecosystem of those farmers and him completely and they started packaging the things now when they are communicating they are communicating of our nostalgia choto kale ja ja hoto so everything so you see is coming from a value value system so his product he is also making money but his product has got lot of responsibility with ecosystems basically so when i was traveling with fazil hasan abed he was telling us the same he was in shell in 71 head of finance can you imagine with a two car bungalow given london farod you can citizen 
why he chose to quit that job and started doing brack because he saw the things is actually in coming days what would be the impact i am telling you one story by him uni jokhon bangla uni jokhon brack shuru kore tokhon bangladesher mortality rate chilo proti 1 lakh te somewhere around 4100 whatever it came down to now 1 lakh 31 If you look at the whole entire things, he single-handedly made it possible, along with government. He pushed government so much. Jokon, our country has no freezing system. Chiro na, our vaccination gula carry korar juno. He actually three years before that he started pushing government. Jee, we should have that because of our bachchara jodi mara jai. Ita jodi bondhu kotha na pari mohila na onik beshi bachchi nibe. Mohila na onik beshi bachchi nila our generation kharo bere jabe. So our jee growth rate seventy one thi ki shuru kere akhon jee drastically drop korche. basic chatta sector e if you if you just go by his contribution he should be a guy should be studied every day his contribution is impact of things so objective with one vision one dream because he knew he is good at that basically but before that tuni onek kichu koreche before that he did job he traveled he tried to study architect i am coming to your question he tried to study naval architect he tried to study finance he tried to study music arts and everything he was doing carefree days in london it took him 36 years to decide what he wants to do what's your age 24 so it might happen another 10 years you don't know what will happen but if you don't have that patience like you know if you want to be successful tomorrow that i cannot save you but i generally tell my people like you know whoever come across like you know 10 years if you have a time for anything in your life not for me i'm saying for yourself if you have a 10 years you might get something lot of time i mean this is like we are so impatient we don't live on our dream we just go oh, no path pallam na bhaiya so it's like it's not happening basha theke eta bolche and i thought this and is a good opportunity this so called that good opportunity you just give up the bigger opportunity basically lot many times happens basically in practical world হ্যাঁ থ্যাংক ইউ আমি মানে প্রথম থেকে অনেক শুনে আসছিলাম ফোকাস হতে হবে এটা করতে হবে সেটা হতে হবে নাও ইউ পুট মি আস টু ইন আ ডিপ থট প্রসেস যে আসলে কি হতে হবে আমরা কি চাই তো মাই কোয়েশ্চেন ইজ যে আসলে আমরা কি চাই এটা আমরা কিভাবে মানে ডিফাইন করব আই সে আই থিংক ইজ গোইং টু বি আ ভেরি ফিলোসফিক্যাল আমি লাইক আমি কিন্তু এন্টারপ্রেনার আই এম লাইক ওয়ার্ক অন ফ্যাক্টস এন্ড ফিগারস আই মেক মানি সো কোনো ভাবে ভুলার কোনো কারণ নাই যে আই এম নট এন আর্টিস্ট হ্যাঁ বাইনি জাস্ট but still i'll try to uh, answer your things i think is i think is a very like very personal persuasion am bolchi jemon dhoro amar mone amader kichu jinish kintu given which is like by like from religion from family if you if you study any things of core it always gives a good direction keu jodi mone kore je ei room e am really religious and really do a good religious study you can actually extract information from there any fundamental knowledge has got direction any fundamental knowledge it can be science it can be mathematics it can be religions i am saying persuasions of like you know any particular dream that around that subjects you need to study and you need to meet people interesting people you need to see i'm like into we run so when you run you don't see right when you walk you actually see honestly this tumi jodi ekta boy poro bikkhato boy is called born to run you'll get it like probably nete paba ekhon hoyto dhakar dukan e ashini it's called born to run born to run uh, written by a very famous uh, this sports journalist he actually studied one thing jara sportsman who actually run for like you no know, glory and money eventually it cost them more as in the amount of money they earn and the amount of surgery they spent the take home is actually minus figure yeah so Nike barefoot running is actually completely based on that book because of there is a tribe called Tarahumara is in Mexico they actually from or a janma theke dorai sob shomoy so uta arte story am bolchi but jeta bolar chesta korchi amra kintu amader human body is not meant for run as in but dekho amader cinema te ba propaganda always makes us hey, run Nike bolche run Puma run Adidas run basically but if you walk actually it better for your health honestly i bet you to make me onno bhai bol identically when you walk you see better right you see the story you see around 
you actually get knowledge 80% from your surroundings and from your common sense, basically. University and school, 20%. Within that school, I think the primary education is more important than university and middle school. Honestly, primary education should have more money. Primary education should have the best teacher. They should get the best of salary. Tell me, which is the country best in primary education? There are like two, three countries like really, really significant in, in the world who are making progress in primary education. One of countries is actually Korea. Japan. And another country is probably, uh, can't remember, one of European countries. These three countries, why they are important? These three countries actually very strange. Uh, let's say Korean education system, there is no sad teacher shampurko. It's like very open-minded like value system, basically. And they put a lot of money in primary education compared to university educations. They put primary education money and technical education money, which is engineering and all, whatever, basically. If you look at our primary education systems, we, we put the less, least actually. But your formation is actually happening in the primary school, not in the university. University, you are very focused. You need a degree, you need a CGPA, you need a job, right? You exactly know on the day of you entering what you want. But in the primary school, you don't know exactly. So your, your personality, your way of looking at things and everything, it should be driven by that, basically. So that is, we are like completely unfortunate, basically. So education is also like, you know, in a lot many areas, it's like very, very overrated. That's why I feel like some of our university degrees are very overrated. Like, you know, the amount of money we pay some business school graduate, and the amount of value they actually put in, which I have my personal issues, I mean, it can be completely subjective, is basically, yeah. Because I meet them. And honestly, and I meet a lot of unhappy people, and they're the most, like, you know, successful. But 80% of them negotiate, honestly, I'm really sorry. I don't see very mentors. Like, you know, they're like, not many. Not many CEOs are like, you know, very charismatic, who can bring something. Most of CEOs only deliver the facts and figures. They only translate sales. But I cannot judge a person who is good at sales. And that efficiency is very subjective for me. Efficiency can be very different. I'm saying I have uh, my uh, colleague I had. He, he never come office before 2 o'clock. But I still kept him for 6 years. And he started doing good things after 6 years. That's how you, I mean, you decide. I think... Should be over.